Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope all of you out there are doing well and staying healthy. Today's video is very exciting, at least for me. Over the last six months or so, I've been developing a new platform from the ground up, and I'm excited to release that here finally, and uh, hopefully help get the word out so I can start growing this. I think this is gonna be a real market disruptor in the RFID and cashless payment industry. The primary use case for this was geared mostly towards the event industry, such as concerts, fairs, trade shows, and really any type of events like that. But there's other use cases, you can use it for anything. Um, what I have built is a brand new RFID cashless payment software called RFIDFI. I'm developing phase two right now, so depending on when this video is watched, hopefully some more features will be added. And what I'm gonna be adding in is integrating ticket selling, so not only is this going to be an awesome RFID platform, but also be seamless integration with ticket selling and utilizing RFID wristbands for cashless payments at event. Of course, you're not just limited to um, wristbands, you can use any kind of RFID paraphernalia, but I'm, today I wanna to go over some of the features. If you've watched this far, and uh, you aren't interested in this video, I will say there's seven main points that make this software better than any other software out there, and it's the reason why I developed it. So first, before we get into the demo, we are completely si free to sign up for. RFIDFI has no strings attached, no credit card required, completely free to sign up for. We're the only one out there right now that does that. There's no recurring costs with RFIDFI. The only costs are 25 cents per transaction. And when we release the event ticketing feature, we'll also be doing that for 25 cents as well, which means that we would become the lowest price ticketing platform on the market. The third point, RFIDFI requires no top-up stations, no preloading of funds. If you know anything about this market, you know that um, top-up stations and you know preloading money onto the wristband for the user, honestly, that's a burden to the user. And I think that this makes this feature stand out huge with RFIDFI. You don't have to worry about top-up stations, no preloading of funds. We're completely cloud-based, doesn't require any proprietary hardware. You can continue using you know, your existing point of sale and use this alongside it. We have a built-in point of sale for free with our software, so you can use that as well. We're 100% serverless, built completely on AWS, Amazon Web Services. There's absolutely no servers that we've provisioned um, in this, um, what I've developed. Um, we don't, number five, we don't require you to use any kind of special or specific RFID chip. You can buy pretty much anything. You know, if your reader will read it and it'll generate a unique ID, you can use it with our software. And the last thing, uh, actually there's two more things. We can actually, some one of the big features that we built in is that we can aggregate charges into one main final charge, which ultimately can save you money because instead of being charged by Stripe, the credit card processor that we have integrated with, let's say a user had seven charges that they did at an event. Rather than having seven finalized charges, our software can actually aggregate those. At the end of the event, you can close down the tab and it'll perform one finalized charge saving you the 30 cents per transaction on the remaining six so our has our software has the ability to do that and we can optionally you know you could turn that off if you don't want that on your um, account but that that is a, a very cool feature that we have built in and uh, the last feature that stands out with our software that makes it different than any other software, you can share your RFID event with other vendors. So if I'm going back to like the craft shows, the trade trade shows, you know, uh, fairs, that kind of stuff. Um, if you've got multiple vendors, you can share your event with those vendors, which means that those vendors can collect um, RFID payments as well. Um, and, and the money goes into their account and you don't have to deal with the management of trying to pay them. So sharing of events um, for this RFID stuff. So these are just the main points. Again, uh, let's go ahead and get into this demo and show you. And then by all means, guys, if you have any questions, we've tested this out at um, several events, um, up to 2,500 in size, and, and it's performed flawlessly. So I'm ready to release this to the world and you know grow this out. So let's go ahead and get to the platform and let's give you just a quick demo. All right, so let's go ahead and log in. I could honestly, I could do an hour long video on this and, and still have hours worth to talk to you. I'm very passionate about this. And um, there's, there's just a lot of features that are built into this and, and more that I um, am going to build in. But, but let's go ahead and this is our dashboard. Let, let's go ahead and register some RFID users. And you can sign up for free. And honestly, within minutes, you guys can be ready taking RFID cashless payments. There's no other provider out there that can, that can say that because they're, they're still wanting to have databases and they want you to manage hardware at the event. Honestly, that's, that's, that's old school. Let's go ahead and register a user. I've got a uh, one of my 
RFID tags here that I took off one of my wristbands from one of our old events. So I'm going to plop that in there. You can add more authorized users if you want to. So like if you have a family, you want to give one to your husband, you know, your your wife, your your kids, whatever it may be. And so now you can we we integrate in with terminal credit card readers for Stripe. So I've got one connected here to my account. So we'll go ahead and uh, connect to that, and you can collect cards right there. So if you were doing this at like a ticket window, a ticket booth. Um, in-person, uh, you know, registration, you can do that. So I went ahead and I, I put in my card into my terminal right here. And you can see here that it actually failed to register because there's already a primary tag with this ID. And that's because I've previously uh, registered that ID. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that. So you, of course, you know, you don't want to have multiple users with the same ID. That's not how, obviously, you wouldn't want to do that. So I'll just go ahead and register a different one. And I've inserted it back into the, the terminal reader here. And there we go. We've, we've got a registered user. And now we can start making RFID payments right away with that. So let's come over here to the RFID charge screen. Let's just do like uh, some random amount. And you can see here that it's all touch friendly. We've, we've built this to be, you know, touch screen first. So let's go ahead and scan my tag again. Alternatively, you can, you know, manually type it in. Of course, this one here, I've when you scan it, it automatically hits the enter key. Let me just go ahead and come over here so I can capture that that number real quick. And I'll plop that in here and change it to, to the four. So when it comes up here, you want to verify their last name. You, you'd want to ask them. This is kind of like some fraud prevention, you know, verify their last name. So that way they tell you rather than you telling them. But we'll go ahead and confirm that. And that's going to authorize the transaction. And there it is. It's charged to the user. No credit card information is ever stored in the RFIDFI database. Um, everything is integrated in with our payment provider Stripe. You can also charge credit cards right here. Uh, back to the registration screen, we've got the assigned pre-registered tags. So actually what we can do is if we hop over here to the settings, and now again, I'm, I'm going through this very quickly because like I said, I could talk about this for hours and there's going to be subsequent videos where I do go in depth about each page. I'll have a video for each page as we go through uh, each of the features. So this is just the unveiling. So let's go ahead and copy this URL. Each account comes with its own public URL where they can pre-register or collect the, the uh, pre-registrations of people. So if you don't have a tag, you can have your users for your event pre-register and they can come pick them up at the event. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Um, we'll do a demonstration. So they would put in their credit card information and they would pre-register for whatever it is um, event that you're doing. So then this will simulate that. And then we will also do one where there's this option where they can register a wristband that they already have. So this would be like if you're sending out a wristband as part of your event, maybe they bought a ticket, so you're going to mail them a wristband. And then of course it's not active until they register it. So the thing with this is that the wristband ID has to be on the list of allowable because you wouldn't want somebody to just come in here and um, you wouldn't want them to just be able to, you know, register anything. Or maybe they, uh, you know, when you send them the wristband, you would obviously have to have on there what their ID is. That way they can register it. You wouldn't want them to accidentally fat finger it and then it not work. So I have not added this to the list of allowable, so it's not going to let me. So let's hop back over to the admin page and we will do that over here on that registration page. And I'll show you how easy that is. So back over here on the registration, we'll go to the tags for pre-registration. So these are tags that are allowed to be registered, but are not yet registered. So I'll just call it AB123 and we will add that. You can optionally, you can add a first name and a last name if you want to try and keep track about who's is who, but ultimately they could change that themselves, but go ahead and do that. And there you go. You can see it's registered. If I come back over here and I um, refresh the page, you'll see that AB123 has fallen off because they've registered. So that's just a quick demo of how you can also get pre-registrations as well as how quickly the in-person registration is as well. Now you don't have to use the terminal readers. It certainly makes it a lot faster, but you don't have to. You can do a manually entered card as well. We have a myriad of settings over here we've got point of sale. So I'll just briefly touch on that. You can see I've got a couple test products and so you can use our built-in point of sale feature. So right here, you can add some products to the cart and then you immediately have access to do an RFID charge. So I'll deal with my AB123 that I just registered. Um, you can see there's the last name, so I'll confirm that. So now I've just used the point of sale screen that's built in for free 
in our RFID DFI to do an RFID transaction and you saw how quick that was. Now I can also do a credit card transaction where again, we integrate in with the Stripe terminals. So you can use these uh, terminal readers. Of course, you can also do a manually entered card, but you can process through the point of sale, a credit card as well as a cash transaction. So you can say that, uh, you know, it's a $5 charge, $20, your change back is 15. So you can do your sale that way. So this comes with the software for free. So anyway, you know, that was a, a very, very, very quick demo of RFID DFI, the newest RFID cashless payment system, completely free to sign up, free to use for events, events of all sizes. That's the thing. We're bringing RFID cashless payments to events affordable for anybody from whether you've got one person attending or hundreds of thousands. This built on Amazon Web Services, completely serverless, is built to scale. And it's built on the same technology that Amazon.com and all the database technology that runs Amazon.com built on. So you can add unlimited users to this. So if you want other people to access your account, you can do that. Here's where you would add your terminal readers. You can see I've got my demo reader here. So you can add your Stripe terminal reader for credit cards. Here's where you would share your RFID events. So if you wanted to create the event, share it out to vendors. So that way vendors can take RFID charges on behalf of the users that you register. So in that case, you would always want to have like a parent account that's doing all the registrations. Your vendors would not have to worry about registering. And then we also have inter third party integrations. So for right now, we have constant contact and MailChimp. So as people are registering, whether that be on the public side, so they're registering themselves or whether you're registering them, you know, there at the at the gate, those will flow into constant contact and MailChimp. So it flows in seamlessly so you can do targeted emails. And then, of course, you know, we uh, absolutely are having security in mind. So you can definitely set up two factor authentication if you wish. We use the uh, time based one time passcode. So you'll, you'd use uh, Google Authenticator, Authy, uh, one of those apps for your uh, time-based code for two-factor authentication. So yeah, I think there you have it. You know, if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know. I'm gonna be doing a lot more uh, series video. And of course, check the description. I'm gonna have some links to social media if you wanna follow along on Facebook, my other YouTube channel that I'm gonna create for RFIDFI. So, um, you know, I'd really appreciate the support. And if you have uh, anybody at all in this industry that you think would benefit from this, definitely send them this video send them our website and we would really appreciate it. So thank you guys.